Good eatings and salutations internet to since it is I will Fortec and here we are with another one of those fun things that I got in the mail recently. This time it is the Druid spell deck from Stratagem for Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. Much like the Warlock deck, it comes in this little fun this I I really love using the word little fun or the phrase little fun. But anyways, it comes in this nice little plastic package. It sort of has that uh, quasi-premium look to it. But it's not quite premium. It's a cheap premium. Because, you know, plastic. Uh, the lid, by the way, is uh, a single sheet of plastic that is folded. And it is a uh, uh, spot well plastic spot welded in the corners, which some cases the spot welds don't take. So, as I showed before with the previous deck from uh, them, uh, the Warlock deck, that's an issue. The spot welds fail, or they just seem to not ever take. Uh, in the case of this deck, there seems to be this extra piece of plastic in here to keep the cards from inside the box from bouncing around. But it was weirdly missing from the Warlock deck. So, mm. uh, when I prepped this, by the way, ahead of time, there is a there's some tape on the back side that actually two little discs right there. That I sliced through just for ease of uh, opening up, po opening this up much more efficiently. So there's the little piece of plastic, and then there's the deck. And the box is much like a, the cover, is simply just a folded single sheet with multiple colors a red, green, red, red section. The green bottom also has text here on the inside. 5E compatible Druid spell cards right here. Uh, it's a single sheet that folds up and over and goes up the back side. As you can see, the outside sheets also fold in. And you can see how it's folded all together. This one apparently at some point got dinked right there. So... There you go. Uh, this is the spell deck. It has a deer motif. And it looks as if the deer has a cup on their head. Actually, that's a disc right behind the deer's head. Like a halo. Like Jesus has. And uh, there is a sort of a, like a spell circle behind the deer. With various uh, circles on the wheel. That have different leaf patterns set into them, as you can see. So let's get started with pulling the deck out. First and foremost, the deck pulls out much easier than the official Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition deck by uh, Gale Force 9. The cards don't stick together like Gale Force 9's cards do. The text is more clean than Gale Force 9's. It is a simplified design. There's not a whole lot of extra details on the card. Uh, the only thing of note I do have to knock these cards for is that, first and foremost, this is just the player's handbook spells, as far as I can tell. And the second thing is there is no information on this deck or any of these cards that state what class or sub what subclass they go to you have basically just nothing but spells and all the information is well written out on them I don't know if it's gonna focus but anyways 
there's the body of the text. There's all the basic information. All the information appears to be correct <coughs> and uh, <coughs> is accurate to the point. Uh, create or destroy water. Level 1 transmutation spell. Range 30 feet. Cast time 1 action. Duration instantaneous. Components verbal, somatic, and material. A drop of water. Grain of sand. You either create or destroy water. The create effect. You create up to 10 gallons of clean water within range in an open container. Alternatively, alternatively, the water falls as rain in a 30 foot cube within range, extinguishing exposed flames in the area. Uh, destroy water option. You destroy up to 10 gallons of water in an open container within range. Alternatively, I pronounced it correct that time. You destroy fog in a 30 foot cube within range. When at higher levels, when you cast this spell, Using a spell slot of 2nd level or higher, you create or destroy 10 additional gallons of water or the size of a cube increases by 5 feet for each slot above first. It looks to be all accurate. Uh, I don't see any errors in any of these cards. But I do have to state something really nice about these cards. Something that Gale Force 9 failed to do is that if I go and shuffle through this deck, you'll notice that there's... Wait a minute, what's this? It has text on the front. It says continued on back, and it continues on back. Huh. Paizo does this. Now that's really neat. By the way, that's Storm of Vengeance. That's a level 9 spell. So in the case of this deck, they happen to have text that goes front to back of the card. And it appears to be all accurate information. Nothing too fluffy, just to the point, but all correct. Oh, here. Here's another example. Control weather. All the basic information on the front, how it operates... But then on the back, there happens to be the charts for how the spell works. Huh. I do say, uh, as far as I can tell, these cards are actually, to some degree, superior to Gale Force 9's cards. They seem to be... They don't stick to each other. Gale Force 9's cards stick to each other, which is annoying. However, they do. This is actually a monster card for Gale for, from Gale Force Nine. The Gale Force Nine cards are physically thicker in con construction than the Stratagem cards, but the Stratagem cards uh, slide more easily. Where the waxy build on the Gale Force Nine cards, Gale Force Nine card, Stratagem. The stratagem cards are quite nice, and they slip and flow very easily, but I can see them getting damaged quite easily. So you might want to, if you're going to go with the stratagem cards, I would probably consider, say, like, getting sleeves for them. But anyways, the cards just slide along very easily in one's hand. Contagion. And I really do like the art style. I really do like, in the case of the druid, the deer. I got the light just right that time when I flipped it up to the camera. Let's see. if No? I probably have to increase the resolution on my videos. But anyways, I was originally giving the Gale Force 9 cards... Probably like a 3.5. But they're actually probably closer to a 3 star. They're adjusted down. Where the stratagem cards actually seem to be worthy of being 
potentially in that 3.5 to 3.75 territory. Uh, to please note that there's only the Druid deck, the Warlock deck, and the Wizard deck for Stratagem. There is no Cleric deck, Paladin deck, or any other types of decks from them. I would very much be very interested in seeing them produce uh, a Cleric deck or a Bard deck. And potentially get the cards from uh, other uh, books. I don't think I see any cards in here that are named cards. Unless there's no named spells that happen to be in the Druid's uh, spell list. I will notice this uh, with the Wizard as I happen to know that there's numerous copyrighted names for spells. So the, the stratagem cards are actually quite nice. I have to give them that. They, they're fairly well made. You can see the pattern in the edge. Uh, they're on the thin side. These cards are actually pretty neck and neck with the Gale Force 9 cards. The Gale Force 9 cards are thicker in quality. Uh, they are a bit more durable. They have official branding from Wizards of the Coast. Uh, they have all the information that is pertinent to the deck, including what subclasses are included. Uh... Cons to the Gale Force Nines are they stick to each other. Uh, sometimes they have errors on the cards, very small ones, like they'll reference the wrong page or they'll have a typo error or something like that. Just small, annoying things. Uh, and that. The negatives to the Stratagem cards are... They are incomplete series of cards. There's no, there's no spell cards for all the classes. Uh, oops, put that on the wrong way. They tend to be thinner, and they are missing the information for the subclasses. And that seems to be it. Uh... Yeah, it's it's. I think the Gale Force Nines and the Stratagem cards are pretty much even. Oh yeah, the Stratagem cards also have text on both sides too on really long spells. Uh, that's probably, if anything, the tipping point that makes the Stratagem cards slightly better. I mean, slightly better than the Gale Force Nine cards. There's not very many spells that are so long that you have to have both sides. But, it's really nice to have the text go to both sides on really long spells than have it say, look at X page in the book. So, there you go. That's not a terrible box either. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you next time.